Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I am actually going to be the 2020-2021 cheer president this year at my school. And as part of our preseason, we usually do workouts as well as stunting. And unfortunately, due to Corona shutting um, school down early this year, we no longer got to do preseason. So I sent a list of workouts out to all my cheerleaders. There are three different workouts, so there'll be three different videos on this. And I decided uh, to record these workouts so they are for anyone on the team to do and anyone who wants to try to do them. Uh, they're not too complicated, they're really simple. Most of them are full body workouts. I will post them um, in the description of what to do. Uh, these videos are meant to be kind of followed along, but at the same time, I am stopping and talking a lot, as well as showing a lot of modifications. So if having all those pauses kind of bothers you, I recommend watching the video once so you kind of can see uh, what the different workouts are and what they look like. I know I like to make up names all the time and I am so sorry for that. Um, so watch it once and then just copy the description post of what the workouts are and then just follow along with that at home. Um, they all require no equipment at all. Um, however, you can use weights if that's something that you want to add extra resistance to some of the workouts. Uh, without anything else, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so to start, we're going to do 50 jumping jacks. I would like you to do these the cheer way, just because it is the cheer workout, but you can still do them normal. So, you're going to start in a clean, you're going to come up with a high beat each time and clean in between each one. So, good. Reach out, step, hold, step, 
squat back up. I would like you guys to all work to try to be able to do a full burpee, but I completely understand if that's like impossible. <laughs> um, burpees took me a really long time to be able to actually do more than like three of them. So I totally understand um, as long as you're trying to achieve that, I'm proud of you and you're doing great. Um, so just keep doing any modification that you need to. With these, I know this video is kind of a follow along, kind of not, um, as I'm talking way too much. Um, with the burpees, go as slow as you need to. You can do one, take a break, do another one. You can do like two in a row, that's fine, okay? So we're gonna do five. Perfect. So, now the next thing we're going into is a plank row. We're doing 10 of them, so that means five on each arm, okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into a high plank. From there, you're just gonna raise each arm, so keep that core tight. Raise up, down, up, down. If you have a weight, hold on to a weight, pull it up, down, pull up, down, okay? Do 10. Make sure you're not twisting too much to the side. You want to keep yourself kind of straight and tight the whole way. A little bit of a turn is going to happen no matter what. Make sure you're doing these slow and controlled, okay? That's how you're going to get the best work done. Okay, so next we're doing 10 tricep dips. I prefer to do these on a raised surface rather than laying down, but you can do it from like a back plank position. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands right next to where your butt is as you're sitting. And you're gonna walk yourself out. You're gonna hold this nice and tight. You wanna keep yourself like a chair, keep these legs tight, squeeze your core. What you're gonna do is you're gonna dip down, back up 10 times. Make sure you're focusing on your arms. Perfect. That's it. Who knows? Okay, now we're into the ab section. So we're gonna start with V-ups. There's gonna be 12 of them. So, this is what a V-up should look like. You're laying down and you pull yourself straight up, okay, each time. I'm gonna show you a couple modifications for this because I know these can be kind of tricky. So, I'm gonna show you the first six modified and then the last six the full way. So, you can bend your knees, you come up like that, crunch. Good, keep your core nice and tight. Keep your back as flat as possible the whole way through. Perfect. And then now if you want to do it the full way, your legs are flat, completely straight, or as straight as possible. Crunch up for six. Good. And the same rule applies. You want to keep your back as flat as possible. Now we're going to go into 10 bicycle crunches. So, your hands will be behind your head. Does not mean you're pulling your head forward as you do these. Just rest it lightly, you're gonna twist. Your elbow's gonna come to your knee. So, you lay back, your legs come up. You're gonna twist. One, two, good. Perfect. The next is 10 high, middle, low crunches. So what I mean by that is I want you to do 10 high crunches, 10 middle crunches, and then 10 low crunches. So high crunches, your flat back is flat on the mat, your legs are up. They can be as straight as you want, or you can have them bent. I prefer mine a little bit bent and I cross them over. Hands go behind your head. Again, you're not pulling your head. 
You just want to have them resting there. Core nice and tight, squeeze up. Good, and now for the middle crunches, you're gonna have your legs now either 90 degrees or again, about that level and bent and uh, crossed together. Elbows behind your head again, crunch. Perfect, now with these low crunches, you can either have your legs flat on the mat like this, hands come up, you crunch up. You're not coming all the way up like a sit up. It's just a crunch, so you only wanna to go to about here where you feel in your core. Or as I like to do, you can do it with your legs out butterfly. I personally like this way better, but you can also do it like this. They both target the same abs. Okay, ready? Perfect. The next one, it's gonna be five, alternating hand to foot, elbow to knee. So I want you to do five on your right, five on your left. So with these, what you do, you're gonna lay flat back. I'm gonna start with my right hand and my left leg, okay? So my left arm, I just kind of put behind my head. Right arm comes up, left arm straight. Your right leg can either be a little bit bent or flat, whatever's kind of comfortable. Your leg is gonna come up, tap, you don't have to be able to touch your toe, okay? There's one, and then don't put it down. Elbow crunches to your knees. Good. Really focus on crunching that core as you come up. <coughs> now we're gonna do the other side. So my right arm's gonna be bent behind my head. Left leg bends up a little bit. Right leg straightens out, left arm straightens, up. one. Good. Perfect. And again, with your hand being behind your head, you're not pulling it forward, you're just kind of resting it there. I prefer to do it there rather than on my stomach anymore just because I felt like my arm was just kind of like dead weight and putting it behind my head allowed me to focus on crunching that core more. And then the last part about this workout is gonna be three 30 second planks. So, let me pull up my timer. Okay, so the first one, you're gonna be in a high plank and we're gonna cross. First one, high plank and cross. So, what we're gonna do, you come up in this high plank, your right leg's gonna cross over to your left arm, left leg crosses to your right. Try and keep your back as flat as possible. Shoulders square, crunch your core as you cross those legs over. Do this nice and slow, okay? okay I'm gonna start my timer, so get up, ready? Go, cross. Perfect, keep that core tight. Good. Good, nice and tight, you're halfway there. Focus on crunching that core. Nice. Good, ready, three, two, one. Perfect. Doing workouts outside are great until you can't see anything that you're doing. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a break and then we're gonna go into the second plank. So the second one, again, 30 seconds. It's gonna be step out. So I like to do this in a low plank. So you have my elbows on the mat. Hold that plank nice and tight. Your leg is just gonna step out to the right, back in, left, 
back in, okay? Again, make sure this is nice, slow, and controlled, okay? I can see the timer. So, get down into your plank. Tight, go. Again, try and keep your back flat. You want your shoulders a little bit over your arms. Keep that core tight the whole way through and make sure you're breathing. Everyone gets to breathe in a plank. You're already halfway there, so you're doing amazing. Good. Nice and tight. One. Perfect. Nice. Now the last one is just gonna be a 30 second plank hold. You can do this in a high plank or a low plank. Whatever your preference is, I personally like to do a low plank, but again, you can do either. Okay, give you a second to set yourself up. Legs back. I like to have my legs a little bit closer together. I know some people like to do a more shoulder width. Again, that is a personal preference. If you need to, um, especially with the plank hold, not as much with the crosses because you can't really do it at the same time while being on your knees. But if you need to take a break, either pause your timer, take rest, and then rest uh, start from wherever you paused. Or, especially with this next one, you can put your knees down on the mat the same as we did with those push-ups. So as a modification, rather than holding it, you go on your knees, hold that plank still, keep that core tight. You really want to squeeze it while you're still doing this so you're still getting a workout, okay? Get ready. Sorry, my mom's not on. Set, go. Nice and tight. Squeeze that core. Good. Just focus on your breathing for this one. In, out. You want to breathe in through your nose and then a nice hard breath out through your mouth. Good, and make sure you squeeze your core a little bit tighter every time you breathe out. Five seconds. Two, one, you're done. That's it. Bye guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first chair workout. As I said earlier in the introduction, there will be two more workouts that will be posted. Um, and I will also be posting a short video to show you how I like to stretch so you can have a follow along on how to stretch. Um, in the description, it shows the workout and I ask you to stretch both before and after this workout. It's gonna be the best way for your muscles to not only heal and be able to reek benefits from the actual workouts themselves, but also so you can be able to enhance your flexibility, um, especially being cheerleading, that's something that's kind of important, um, as well as just being able to feel better as your body is like healing after doing a workout, because I know we tend to be sore, that will actually help, help cut down the soreness. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave in the comments below anything else that you guys would like to see or if you're enjoying this workout. And if you are seeing this and are going to be a first year student at Western New England or you're already a current student who has not ever joined the cheer team and you would like to, uh, be sure to message me and I'd love to give you all the information about our team. Uh, thank you and have a great day.